what's up y'all welcome back to my channel and today we will be working with uv risen to make our own keychains and charms so something new to my channel i want to bring you guys a different diy project that you can do to also add to your business and to also just do for fun while we're in this quarantine so while you're here go ahead and like comment and subscribe go ahead and follow me on instagram at christine's creations 22 remember get your shirts from christine creations it's one of ours $15. Also, our entire website is on sale for 15% off if you use code COVID-19. I'll leave the website in our description bar. Um, we have sunglasses that are $10, anklets that are $10. Our bougie verses are always five. I will insert some pictures for you guys. Here, please, please, please shop, shop, shop while you got your stimulus check. And let's go ahead and get into this video. They used to talk about me, but now my name all in their search now. Pretty in the face, little in the waist. I talk my shit, I get cocky. These bitches won't be me, these bitches can't see me. Got CC all over my body. Killing bitches is a hot. So we're back. So the materials that you're gonna need, you guys aren't gonna see my face anymore after this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera so you guys can see what I'm working with here at the bottom. All right, so camera has been adjusted. So you guys see all the different molds that I have right here. I have the alphabet number mold. I also have a keychain and charm mold. And these are some other molds that came with the kit that I purchased off Amazon. I will link the kit. I have purchased two different kits. And I will also link the UV resin that I purchased from Amazon. And also my UV light that's over here in the corner is also from Amazon. So everything basically that you need to achieve this project can be purchased on Amazon. So here I have some few glitters that I picked up from Walmart, from your local Walmart. So you guys can also pick those up as well. My letter um, mold came with a few of their own basic um, little charm capsules, not charm capsules, like little gl glitter capsules. I have those as well over here in the corner. So we're going to go ahead and just work on, today I want to do something different. I'm going to show you guys two different ways you can make your resin. We're going to do a keychain version and we're going to do a letter version. So again, what you guys will need to achieve these molds and keychains, you guys are gonna need UV resin. Boom, that's number one. You guys are gonna need a UV light, a 36 watt to be exact is the best uh, light to cure resin. Whatever glitter of your choice is fine. Um, I have this little bowl that I use to mix my resin that I used to, that I played with when I first got my kit. You all may need a drill. I use a drill personally um, to put a hole in my items. That works best for me. Um, today we're going to work with use adding fur balls to our charms as well, our charms and leather keychains as well. So I do have a bag of fur balls over here in the corner. That's off camera. So that's about it. And you guys gonna need just some. Um, some, either some plastic spoons or you guys can use like a plastic um stirrer that came with one of my molds as well so we're going to go ahead first we're going to work on our keychain mold so i'm going to put our letter mold to the side and let this be for in center so i'm going to go ahead and open up our ribbon which i've already used before but i just keep it in the box this is how it comes this I look. Um, this resin, if I'm not mistaken, this resin was $14.99 off Amazon. It came in two days. I like this resin. Um, it works well with me, fine with me. And yeah. So, boom. We're gonna go ahead and that's the resin right there. I'm gonna put our box to the side. So I'm gonna use one of these little chunky glitters that we have over here. I'm gonna go. I also purchased these from Walmart. They were a dollar and a change, a dollar and some change of piece. So real inexpensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. Because this is the one I wanna use. Oh boom. Okay. Oh, I thought I just busted one. 
<laughs> that glitter is pretty. Whatever glitter that is, that's a top glitter. It's pretty, but it's not one I need it to be. So I might use that. Brush it off. All right, so you guys, this project can get messy. FYI. So we got a little bow. I'm just gonna pour some pour. I said pour. I'm just gonna pour a little resin in here. Just a little bit. I'm going to take whatever glitter of your choice, which I'm gonna use this chunky glitter that I have right here. That I, again, I purchased from Walmart. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in. So you can always mix uh, different glitters, take your um, spoon, and I'm just gonna stir this up. Stir. So I wanted mine to have like a little chunky glitter look. So that's what I was going for. You might need a little more resin. And you can always add something different. So we're gonna add in one of these shakers. Let me go ahead and open this up. better look so basically this is how the resin oops. this is how the resin looks so far with just the chunky glitter that we added i may add some more resin to this to thicken it out a little bit so i'm gonna add a little more gonna mix that on up you don't have to do this part um when it comes to the mix i prefer to mix my resin all together first before, um, about it that we will probably need a little pink oh this is pretty y'all a little more pink yeah i'm new to this reason game so y'all gotta be gotta be with you girl so boom this is basically how our reason looks so i'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the mold that i want to put it in so like this and if you need more reason you can always just add some more on top And a good thing, good thing I like about resin is, or well, the UV resin, that it doesn't take long to set. Um, when you buy the two-parted resin, it can take, um, if I'm not mistaken, up to a couple, like a day to set. Um, so, that's what I learned in my little research. So I just went and put a little bit of the resin on top. Just go ahead and set it just like that. So this is how it looks. Boom. So we're gonna go ahead and get our light. Stick it under here, let it cure um, for about 15 minutes. So of course I'm gonna fast forward as far as you So you're gonna have to sit the whole time, but about 15 minutes to let it cure, let it harden.
just turn the light off for now. So basically, this is how it looks when it's in the mold. So what I like to do is I sometimes like to flip my mold over and press it. This is a technique I started on my own. And then here it comes. All right, y'all, we back. We back like two flats on the Cadillac. So hopefully our keychain is done curing. I feel like it is. So we're going to just go ahead and pop it on out. Pop it. I'll pop out of that your party. Boom. So this is the finished product. Oh, it's so beautiful. So the mold I used today from Amazon came with the holes already inside of the keychain. So we're gonna go ahead and attach. Move all this stuff away. We're gonna go ahead and attach a fur ball. So da boom. Here's our fur ball. And we're going to get our keychain packages out. Which these keychain packages that you guys have seen me use today can be found at your local, at your local, but off Amazon. So, these are the keychains that we're going to be using today, today, today. So, it comes with these jump rings that you can use for uh, this, if you would like. Um, you can also use your own split or jump rings that you may feel is best. But, uh, but these other ones we're using today. So, boom. We're gonna go ahead and get our tools out. Our handy dandy tools. And we're gonna get these connected. So, we're just gonna take these, which come pre opened, of course. We're gonna take them and you're gonna stick it through the hole. Okay. Just line this out a little bit more. Keep dropping it. So you, got a you might not need your power to do this part. You probably can stick it, stick it through without them. I'm gonna be finding double cookie. Using these, I might have to use my own jump ring. Even though I pay for these to build this kit. So boom. I got her on in there. And be sure not to crack your mold, y'all. That is so important. So, I got it on here. Good and tight. Good and tight and bright. So, this is how I look up close, you guys. I hope you guys can see that. So, we're going to take one more. And we're going to connect this. And where's our fur ball? So these fur balls were also purchased on Amazon. Like I said, everything that we're doing in this video can be achieved. Um, all products in this video, except for the glitter that I used today, is from Amazon. The glitter can be found at your local Walmart in the craft section. So you can go ahead. This these come like a little little uh, rope that you can stick it through. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that one in there. I'm gonna grab 
other end of that fire. And we put a pan. So you guys, this is the finished product so far. Um, maybe in our next video, I will show you guys how to adhere names um, on these type of keychains. This shape, how to adhere the names with the Cricut and the permanent vinyl or adhesive vinyl. So you guys just stay tuned for that. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. I wanted to bring something different on here for you all. Um, we may make one more, but I just want to show you guys this one. So next, this time we're going to make bring our mold out. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can end up drilling your own hole into these products. So now we're gonna use our other mold. And we're gonna do, hmm. Let's do, I'm gonna do a letter that's like a really complex. So let's do an M. So we're gonna do an M. So a resin hardens quick, y'all. Just to let y'all do. So I'm just gonna pour it back in the bowl with some more resin in here and like i said i do i have purchased um the two-part resin i did purchase it i actually have it so i'm sitting in my box over here but for this for the purpose of this video i wanted to show you guys a quick quicker way than using uh, the two-part resin i have no experience using that two-part resin so i'm going to practice first before i bring it to you all I'm gonna make sure I'm doing everything correctly. So we're gonna take our pink again because I want these two to match and just shake it over in here. And again, these glitters can be found at your local Walmart. Um, you can buy glitter from just about anywhere, honestly. So we're gonna do that. Oh, and that's just pouring out. So we're gonna just pour a little pour. A little bit of that in there. I don't understand how that opened, but it's everywhere, so might as well just use it. So, when you mix chunky and fine glitter together, it does look good. So, as you guys can see, this is basically the consistency and look that this ribbon is, is giving off when you mix the two. So like I said, we're gonna go in with our M. You guys can also use um, a plastic bowl or like a paper bowl, something disposable with this um, as well. I just jacked this bowl up, so I'm just gonna make this my resin bowl. Don't do the same thing I did, <laughs> please. I'm almost at the end of resin, y'all. So I'm just gonna put a little more resin in here to thicken it out. And I'm also going to shake a little more. Shake the I'm gonna take this little spatula spoon that I got up in here. That probably got some glitter on it. Get all of it in there. That's how this one is looking. It's looking nice, y'all. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let this one cure for the same amount of time. I'm gonna do the same method and everything. So, let's get into it.
So we're gonna go ahead and let it sit on the back. So we're going to go ahead and finish this on out. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it out of the mold. And this is our finish. Hurrah! You guys see this? Oh, it's so cute. This is a great DIY project to do with your kids um, during this quarantine process. Um, it's very fun. I enjoy it. It's calming. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this one out. So this is the method that I use to um, do my letters. You personally don't have to use this method. Some people get like a little thing. So I just take a drill and I just hold it. This is. So it makes a clean hole through and through. So you guys can see the hole, but it puts the hole through and through. So you do the same thing method that you did for the other ones. So you learn these marvelous jump rings here. Uh, sometimes I would stick like a little um, drop of super glue down in there. So boom, our keychain is almost done. We're gonna do a regular keychain for this one. Um, no fur balls, just to show you guys, you know, the different options you all can do for the DIY project. It all don't have to be the same. As people feel the real hours when it comes to DIY, it's DIY. So do it yourself, girl. How you gonna do it? I'm gonna put this through. Put this through. Put this through. Take your pliers and you just act like this is a regular split ring, jump ring, or split ring. Which it is, and you just twist it, close, and boom. There's your keychain. Again, thank you guys so, 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 so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoy your week. I will see you guys again on Friday. I hope you guys learned something from our tutorial today on how to make keychains. And how to make letter keychains with UV resin. Um, but again, it's something different from my channel, so I hope you guys enjoy videos like this. If you do, comment below. Let me know how you feel about this. How you feel about this project? Um, let me know if you guys are willing to try this at home. And again, uh, Christine Creation is currently having a 15% off sale. If you use the code COVID19 to get 15% off your entire order. Wholesale orders are included in this coupon. So tap in, sis. Again, sunglasses are $10. Anklets are $10. Bougie braces are $5. All wholesalers on sale. We have a new wholesale kit that just dropped today. And it is the beaded bracelet kit that everyone has been asking for. I'll also insert a clip of the flyer here for you all. So again, like, comment, and subscribe. Your girl will see y'all on Friday. Have a blessed hump day. You guys spend those stimulus checks wisely. And you know, spend a little coinage with Christine Creations. But I love you all. Thank you. Roll to 1K. And I'm out.